There's some facts about SeaWorld we'd like you to know. We don't collect killer whales from the wild and haven't for 35 years. With the highest standard of animal care in the world, our whales are healthy. They're thriving. I wouldn't work here if they weren't. And government research shows they live just as long as whales in the wild. Caring for these whales, we have a great responsibility to get that right. And we take it very seriously because we love them. And we know you love them too. There's been a lot of unfair criticism about SeaWorld these days, and it has a lot of people asking questions, which I totally get. So today what we're here to do is to try to answer one of those key questions that almost everybody has about our killer whales. So the question comes from Kylie on Twitter, and Kylie asks, PETA says killer whales in the wild live 30 to 50 years on average, but your whales have an average lifespan of only nine years. Is that true? Kylie, firstly, thank you for asking the question. And I gotta tell you, it's absolutely not true. But you don't just have to take our word for it. Some of the best marine mammal researchers in the world work for the federal government at the Alaska Fisheries Science Center. You know what they found? That killer whales that live at SeaWorld live just as long as killer whales in the wild. In fact, one of the authors of that report told the Wall Street Journal, quote, survival in the wild is comparable to survival in captivity. That doesn't happen by accident. The reason our killer whales are living long lives, thriving and healthy here at SeaWorld is because of the comprehensive health care program that we can provide for them. Yeah, so let's just switch over to Trua so we can push that. really just been monitoring her for hormonal activity to see if she's cycling normally, but uh, health-wise, everything has looked really so normal. let's just look at her for mm -hmm. so Every single day, SeaWorld vets and animal care staff do a thorough examination of every whale. We may measure the whale to see what their pattern of growth is. We may collect body weights from the whales. The veterinarians will check urine. We'll collect cells from their airway. We can culture those things, look under a microscope, and look for trends in the health of that individual whale. And then how much serum are we banking? As much as we can get? As much as we can get. Okay. That way we okay. have lots of serum banked okay. for all the researchers that are coming along and wanting to. Okay, we collect bloods from all of our killer whales. We can identify subtle changes in their blood results that will give us a hint as to whether a killer whale is beginning to become sick. And then we can intervene early and stave off the illness altogether. Yeah, I've been able to upload it into his record. This eye looked great. It looked completely normal. All of these tests allow us to very, very closely monitor the health of each and every single killer whale. And that's why we're here. That's why we've got the largest killer whale care staff in the world. I'm a veterinarian. And just like doctors, we veterinarians take an oath. I wouldn't work here if I wasn't able to give these whales the world-class care they deserve. So don't believe what PETA and Blackfish are saying. Our killer whales live lives just as long as killer whales in the wild. We hope that answers your question, Kylie, and thank you very much for asking it. We know you love killer whales, and boy, I'll tell you, we love killer whales too. So please keep those questions coming. We're eager to answer every single one.